And the winner of the 2013 Australian Capital Territory Medium Business Award is Rudd's Consulting Engineers. Okay, I'll start the ball rolling anyway. Um, I know we're only supposed to have one. Well, first of all, uh, like everyone else, I'd like to thank Telstra and um, everyone else that's here tonight. Uh, this is our second time around, and um, yeah, it's very exciting and very privileged, feel very privileged to have actually won this year. Um, very nerve wracking. I did, uh, like some of the other contestants, listen last night uh, to the instructions, and I have made a couple of notes. So the first thing, who are we? I mean, everyone goes, Rudd's Consulting Engineers. What? Who? Uh, who are they? What do you do? Well, look, uh, basically, we're consulting engineers to the construction industry, and we specialise in providing um, systems that make buildings work. Um, now, to most of you, that doesn't mean very much. The sorts of facilities that we can be involved with include apartments, offices, shops, data centres, laboratories, workshops, warehouses, embassies, pretty much anything you have to stand in, sit in, work in. And the main thing, we've been under, operating under our current leadership, that's uh, Lou and myself, for the last 10 years, um, after taking over from the previous captains of industry who were there for 10 years, and uh, his, their predecessor who was there for about 10 years. So we've actually been in town for over 30 years, and in fact Emma, um, Lady Emma McNeil as we have call her, is uh, one of the stalwarts from the um, original origins of the company uh, way back when and still with us today. And um, it is certainly one of the most uh, privileged things that I uh, am able to say to people when we have people that are there for 30 years, 20 years, we've got over 40% of our uh, people have been with us for over 10 years. Um, and you know, it's a, it's a really um, great feeling to know that people actually like working for you. So what do we do? That's probably the one thing that everyone wants to know. So I started to think about this. Hopefully this isn't gonna to be too boring for you. So much of the work that we do is undertaken in the interest of local, regional and national security. So I can't actually tell you anything, or if I did, I'd have to kill you. But though, seriously, um, we basically make sure there's enough light around your building to make sure that when you're walking to your car at night, it's safe and to stop the burglars breaking in. We make sure that inside your building, there's sufficient light for you to see and uh, sufficient power for your computers and your iPads and everything to be plugged into. We make sure that the cloud stays operational for everyone that's using it these days. And um, that when the uh, grid goes down, that the individual uh, data centres that ho host that cloud, because um, it's not actually up there for those of you that don't know, um, <laughs> it's actually next door, uh, that they actually continue to run and keeps, uh, keep uh, hosting uh, Telstra and, um, and all of uh, the other data that we need. Um, we make sure that there's sufficient phone and data capability. We make sure that in the event of a fire, you're warned about it and you've got time to get out. And uh, in the event, uh, in some cases, we put sprinkler systems in to actually put the fire out. We make sure that when you're wanting to have a private conversation in your office, that the people outside the office can't hear. And um, we make sure that uh, when you're provided, that you're also provided with plenty of fresh air and that it's comfortable for you to uh, work. We make sure that when you go to the tea room, there's plenty of hot and cold water for your tea and your coffee. And make sure the drains take all that yucky stuff away. <laughs> we, even, <laughs> we even make sure that the buildings these days produce the smallest amount of carbon possible. And that's a big uh, agenda for us. And we do this with a highly skilled and experienced uh, staff and, um, and employees. Uh, a lot of people say, what's uh, your uh, advantage over your opposition, I say we've got more grey hairs than everybody else. <laughs> so I guess I'm now in that. Um, we do it through a culture. Lou and I have instilled the culture of uh, ensuring quality is maintained. Quality is really our main bugbear, I suppose. And um, the one thing is it's pretty, well, it's still hard for a, an individual to go out there and be successful in business. But what's really hard is to actually replicate that. And uh, the, certainly the success of John um, McGraw and, and, and the others here tonight is about empowering people to, to, to be successful themselves and in that process you, you also become successful. So we really encourage our members to be the best they can through um, study and um, training programs and basically um, that in turn makes our company successful. Um, we think outside the square, we're not afraid to, confront, conf to confront industry norms and we utilise the latest technology and we've done this in our recent building that we actually designed and built ourselves which demonstrates uh, with the old uh, put your uh, money where your mouth is 
Lots of money where your mouth is. <laughs> lots and lots of money where your mouth is. Um, and we use uh, a wide range uh, of skill sets, uh, which this is one of the things that differentiates our company, is that we take tradespeople, we take, um, we've, got, we've got some of the most successful people in our company uh, now are um, public servants that were uh, in a dead end, uh, not that every public servant's job is dead end, but <laughs> they were in a dead end job where they were going nowhere. <laughs> Uh, I'd just shut up now, I think. Um, but above all, I think we listen. <laughs> we listen to our clients. We contribute to the conversation and to the discussion, and we respond in a timely fashion. And I guess the main thing is Lou and I have always said, do a good job, get the next job. And that's really, I think, what it's all about. Do a good job, get the next job. And most of our business is actually repeat business because of that. And um, congratulations, team. Uh, there's about another 30 or so people behind the scenes that make it all happen as well. And uh, thank you, everyone here. Thank you.